Hi, it's Pat Mayer, your realtor. Um, we're almost to the finish line. So we've gotten our mortgage commitment, and the next step is setting up the closing date. So just so you know, it's um, the closing date and the time are set by the two attorneys, our attorney and the buyer's attorney. So just in case, um, we just need to sit tight until that specific date and time gets identified. Um, so I can help um, try to convince them of a date and a time that you would like and you're more than welcome to call the attorney and suggest the time and date that works best for you and your family. However, it is truly under their control to establish that date and time. Sometimes there's a title company that will have the location, um, the closing at their location. Most of the time it's at the buyer's uh, attorney's office. And if I hear anything, of course, I'm going to let you know. But um, as far as the closing date is concerned, it is through the attorney process. So there's one more thing that I almost forgot to mention, and that's about the transfer of utilities. By now, you should have received a letter from us, an email, with um, the names of the utilities for Monmouth and Ocean County. Specifically, the two things we need you to take care of is once our attorney identifies the date and the time for our closing, if you could do us a favor, or everyone a favor, make sure that you call both the gas and the electric companies and just let them know that we plan to close on 123 Apple Street next Tuesday at you know, 12 o'clock, whatever it is. As long as they have the date, then they will be expecting a call from the buyers with that same information with their credit card to transfer those accounts into their name on the effective closing date. So that's something um, we want to make sure that you take care of as soon as it's identified from the attorney confirming the date of the closing. Um, oh, and then after that we have the walkthrough and I'll be there for that um, to make sure the date of the closing that uh, any repairs that were done, um, it's the opportunity for the buyer to walk through the property before the closing and say, yep, we're good to go, let's go to the closing. Oh, by the way, you don't necessarily have to be there for the closing if you'd prefer to be out of town or just not not necessary for you to attend please reach out to your attorney ahead of time so that you can have all the paperwork signed in advance in preparation for closing feel free to call me if there's any questions see you then